Can the Xtool IP608 perform activation tests? Let's find out. Okay, so as promised, um, we're here again with the IP608 uh, from Xtool. So, you know, when I read the description on Amazon, it uh, it said that it didn't have bi-directional control. For me, you know, I thought that meant activation testing, but apparently it doesn't. So the IP608 can, can, I repeat, can do activation testing. So I'm about to show you some of those functions that can be performed. It depends on your vehicle um, and what the IP608 can actually communicate. You know, there are a bunch of different computers within the vehicle that hopefully this can communicate with. I found that it could communicate more with my 2019 RAM uh, versus this 09, but it could be the 09 just not having a lot of the functional controls. So with that said, let's jump right on in and basically show you what's what you can do with this thing. So I've already fast forwarded it to um, our automatic detection. So we're gonna go through these steps, quick steps. Um, again, this is for the 2009 Ford Escape. So you're gonna see our menu screen. So today what we're gonna do is we're going after system selection. We don't wanna do a scan. These are all the different control modules within the Escape. So first thing I wanna do is we're gonna go after the heating and ventilation. So let's say see if we can get this to go. Let's say our heater blower motor is not working and we want to do some testing with it. We can come in here. You'll notice you can control the blend door. There's a bunch of different things you can do. But for right now, we're after the relay of the front blower. So when I hit this to on, you're going to hear the front fan. You can hear it loud and clear. It's still on. To turn it off, we just shut it off. Um, so again, my fan blow is working, but if yours didn't, this is how you could use a wiring diagram and troubleshoot just by using these activation tests. So if we back up just a little bit further, uh, let's go a little bit further than this. So you notice we have live data. We're going to use that in a, in a future video. Um, let's just take a look here at the generic, uh, electronic module. So again, a bunch of different functions. This one actually has some special functions. And if we go into that, this is where we can actually retrieve your factory keyless entry code if you've forgotten it. You know, if you have forgotten it, this is one way to do it, or you have to disassemble on a Ford, your center console to find it. Um, we're not doing this today, but just wanted to show you that that's available as well as a part of the special functions. So if we look at activation tests, you're gonna see there's um, a, buff, a bunch of different tests. So we can unlock doors, lock them, we can check parking lamps. So let's go after the door locks first. You're always gonna get these messages that kind of instruct you, you know, along these functional testings. Tests, uh, not testing, but tests. So we're just gonna bang through it. You're gonna notice it's inactive. When I click this active, you're gonna hear the door locks lock just like that. Now, if we want to unlock them, we just go to all doors unlock. Perfect. On my 2019, I can actually select which doors I want to unlock. With this one, not so much, but again, probably just a forward thing. So let's go after our, our directional. So right now, what's going to happen is I'm going to turn it off. This is the button I'm going to trigger. It's going to tell me when it's on, but wouldn't it be cool if you could see it on the dashboard? So we're just going to move this out of the way. We'll focus in a little bit so you can see it. And then what's going to happen is we'll see that direction will come up in the left-hand side, which is what you're seeing there. And just for the heck of it, if you missed it, we got it right there. So keeping in the same vein of things, let's see what else we can do. So let's go after the high beams. So I've selected high beams on my scan tool. And if I click it, you'll see the high beam indicator comes on. And also the lights are actually on outside. It's daylight, so it's really tough to see them. So I'm not gonna do that this second. So we shut them off. Uh, let's come back to this again. We'll get you back to the screen. So 
see if there's anything else we want to really look at. I don't think so. We could test the horn if we wanted to. This has a lift gate. We could do that too. Um, and then some trailer some trailer signals for the rear of the vehicle and things like that. But for now, we're just going to back out. So we've done all that. So let's go after our powertrain control module. Again, some special functions just while we're here. Let you take a quick look at it. And now what we can do is we'll back up, we'll go to activation tests, and then there are a lot of different things in here you can do. You wanna be really careful. Um, so you can play with the heater or the exhaust, uh, oxygen sensor, sorry. Um, you can disable injectors if you think you got a misfire somewhere. Um, you know, just a bunch of different things. We're just scrolling through these quickly. But for now, while I'm here, I'm actually gonna check the cooling fan on the outside. And again, just by clicking this, this is going to turn it on. I'm not sure if you're going to hear it, but we'll, we'll take a shot. So it just kicked on. A little bit higher. Not sure if you can hear that, but for now, we're going to kill it. And at this point... Um, you know, I hope, you know, I'm hoping we did this really quickly. I wanted to keep this a simple video, uh, a short video to hopefully show you what this tool can do besides diagnostic scanning. It's a it's a very powerful tool. Um, you know, hopefully this helped. And if it hopefully this has helped, if it has, please, you know, hit that subscribe button. Give me a like. And, you know, if you've got questions, if you've got comments, or if you just want to see something else specific to a vehicle and I happen to have access to it, just let me know. Um, and I'll see what I can do. For now, you guys have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.